Welcome to Canada. We got wildlife today. Polar bears. Orcas. Oh. And winter theme. Snow blocks. Snow block. 3D printed, crazy puzzle, 26 moves to do it, approximately, and sequential discovery, which everybody likes. Welcome to Canada. It's cold. <laughs> Welcome to Puzzle Time. It has been a while since it's been Tony and Tyler. Yeah. It's if been. we get a hundred likes on this, I will shave Tyler's sides into a mullet. And I will egg Tony's house. Fair <laughs> deal. <laughs> <laughs> now, we've had Puzzle Time though with Chuck and Tyler. Okay. We've had Puzzle Time with Aaron and Tyler. That's it? Yeah. Dude, there's like five people downstairs you could have chose from. <laughs> that was the best of them. Okay, nobody wanted to do it. I see. Yeah. Okay, fair yeah, enough. Yeah. Yeah. We forced some guys, arm twisting, you know. But yeah. Tony's back. Tony's back and better than ever. Oh, better than ever. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, we got an Arctic episode for you today. We do. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, it's what, like the end of summer here. Getting there. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's cold, man. It's, man, I, I, w I was on vacation here for a while, uh, out west of where we live in Canada here and it was a lot nicer there and then I come back and it's like disgusting it's cold. that's yeah. cold here it's yeah. the hurricane winds up yeah. here I'm telling you so yeah, we got a, a winter episode in preparation for the Canadian winter that is uh you know fast approaching and terrible it's I like cold. it man we're uh, going skiing this year again, snowboarding lots of people hate it though it's nah those people are inside people we're not worried about them I like I like it though. yeah winter's fun yeah. So let's get into it. We're shooting some stuff from a new, well, I don't know if it's a new company. What's the company? PKR Contracting? Yeah, we Corpor had a... No, PKR Corporation. Corporation, yeah. There you go. So we got two of these Anna puzzles, they call them. Apparently. Super cool. Yeah. We've had this one a while. Yeah, that one's, that one's older and this one's new. So yeah. that's the... Polar Bear. Polar Bear. It's got a name. Nanook. Nanook, yeah, Nanook. yeah. Nanook the Polar Bear. These are both level sevens. Um, that's interesting. 1993, it says here on the bottom of this. Yeah. So it's been around it for a while, this company. But yeah, this Orca one's new. And now the interesting thing I find about these is that they have like a rubbery feel. Oh, dude, on this one too, like the, the fins are... That's yeah, super flexing. cool, yeah. yeah. It's like a rubber material, but the rest of it's more solid, but it still has a rubber finish on the outside. Yeah. So I like that. That one, does that one have the same? Or not quite yeah, the same. Yeah, it's not harder similar. though, yeah. Yeah. So, Nanook the Polar Bear and Orca Killer Whale. Okay, do you know how many pieces there are in this? I actually don't. No? I should have looked that up. Yeah, I wasn't but. sure how many there were either. But both of them. Yeah, they both start with kind of like a pin on the inside here. You pull out. So. And then you start to take things apart. Yeah, and so uh, they're very, I think they're both similar. So it comes out and then piece comes out. I actually haven't, so this is as far is. as I've gone. Yeah, actually, me yeah, too. I'm, I'm kind of scared. Not, yeah, I'm like scared it's gonna just all fall apart. And like, uh, like we've done before, we go back to the puzzle master, Tony's dad, Alan, and ask him to fix the puzzles that we take apart. Yep, that's pretty much how she goes. Oh. Yep. oh, look at that. Oh. Interesting. Here, I wonder if this one has something similar. Cause yeah. I'll go in from the front here. Push on the front one. Oh, I no. So it might be different. It looks like they are a this little is butt piece. The butt piece, yeah. The tail. Okay, now I don't want to take anything apart. Oh, I can, oh, oh no! It's going. <laughs> Hold it together, man. I'll put it back put in. It back. It's like a pin or something there. There you go. That was the right way. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> it started coming up. It's almost apart. a disaster. Okay, so both level sevens. Obviously, not exactly the same, but similar in, in ways. Would you recommend this maybe for like a more of like a kid's thing, do you think? Yeah, well, like the cool part is, like, I think this, this they have, uh, like, just a fact sheet on, like, yeah. what orcas are like. Yeah, and... so the orca one comes in this, like, crazy cool packaging here. 
And then Tony was looking at this. I didn't even notice, but here you go ahead and you intro that. Yeah, intro. just some some orca facts. 16 to 28 feet in length, can weigh up to eight tons, five to 20 members in what is called a pod. Uh, travels up to 68 miles per day. The diet, I like that they put fish, sharks, seals, sea lions, seabirds, other whales, and polar bears. Wouldn't that be epic to see a orca whale eat a polar bear? That'd be pretty insane, yeah. <laughs> okay, so cool. That, this, that makes me think that these would be good for school. Like we're getting back into the school season here. Uh, kind of uh, home Canada. school, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So like, I, I imagine these like sitting on the teacher's desk there and they could use this for like, you know, when they're teaching biology or something. Yeah. It's a cool looking puzzle either yeah. way, man. Yeah, learning. Cool. Right there. And puzzle. All right. So that's the uh, simple, easy little one. Let's get into the, the big one. giant, expensive craziness that is yep. uh, the sequential discovery puzzle. The snow block. The snow block, as seen in uh, Chris, Chris Ramsey. Ramsey. Yeah, so let's put that in a little corner here, the Chris Ramsey's video of snow block. Sequential discovery. Sequential discovery from uh, a guy named Philip Black. Do we want to do this, or do you think uh, we'll be able to? I don't want to. Like, do you don't want to no, do it. We speci I, I specifically got told not to take this apart. I would be in trouble if we did. <laughs> so okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That said, if you want to take it apart, um, I'm down, man. Let's do some of these blocks <laughs> here. <laughs> I am taking no responsibility. So yeah. Okay. So how many parts were there in this? Like he this, talks about. This has 26 steps. I don't know how many parts. So it's a sequential discovery. So you're gonna pull tools and pieces out of here. You can even see like it looks like yeah. some of this stuff maybe like lifts out and then. Lift. Imagine there's a key or something you got to put in that one. Yeah. So no. So rules: no hitting, shaking, force, or gravity needed to open the box. The box stays on its feet. Do not turn it upside down or shake it to solve. No tools to be used, only those which the box provide. I think it means external tools. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if it doesn't look like it's supposed to go in a particular hole, it isn't. Also, a good life lesson right there. Good life lesson. <laughs> the inner workings are delicate, so no movements or actions needed excessive, need excessive force. So, right on. pretty standard puzzle stuff there. So if you need help too, this is also interesting. The guy gives you his email address here and you can contact him. So if you need help. Wouldn't be giving out my email address. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's okay. Pizza. So Snowblock. Arrow on the bottom. Also eh? on the back here, it's got his signature, his name. Ooh, 2020. And it's the numbered. So six of 99. Six and five of 99. Wow. So yeah. Fancy. I'm told it's gonna be a fairly expensive puzzle because there's the guy was talking about how many hours it takes to do this. Like it's the 3D print each like individual piece. Yeah, hours like 80 or I forget what it was. It was either 80 to print it and 200 to assemble it, or 200 to print it and 80 to assemble it, or something like that. Like it takes a lot of hours yeah, yeah. to to do yeah. to like print it, but then also to assemble this puzzle, which is nuts to me. But you can see on the bottom there's like screws, hey, eh? all these little screw holes. Dude, there you're not supposed to turn it upside down. Oh, yeah, shoot. Already broke some rules. Okay. There's so arrows on it you, too. So I, I noticed I'm not this. gonna do all of it. I noticed it. this. Hey, you push on the back here and this piece like Oh well, look, look, that look, piece look. flips out. I push. I push. Okay, this. what are you pushing on? Pushing here, right here. Okay, I got and you. And then look, this this flips out. Oh shh. Okay. And then oh! Like, okay. okay. All right. I should not be doing this. Okay, I'll do Someone's this. Someone's getting in trouble. It's Tony. <laughs> Let me just hold this one. <laughs> okay, so Okay. All right. So there's a tool. Does that maybe fit in the arrow down here? I think that fits in the arrow. So there's an arrow on the back here and Tony's fitting that key. Holy. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. So 26 steps. I figure we've got like probably three of them already there. Oh. Oh. The arrow. Here, show, show it like this. Let's see. There. Eh? Does it? Okay, yeah. Put so down. there's a little guard in there. Oh, so you push it in. Yeah, and you got to push it in. Release. Ooh. And then what? Something's got to shift or something here, eh? I don't know. Oh, it's spring loaded. Yeah. There's some other. Oh, oh, Tony opened that. Oh, that opens too. Oh, that, that already opens right from the start. Oh, okay. Well, if I close this. Oh, so something came Guys, out we got some tools. <laughs> you, you better be able to put this back together because. Okay. This one looks like it goes in this slot here. Is that where it came out of? No, it came out of here. Oh. 
So it does like, or it could go up here. There's a slot up here too. Plus, I also think there's something here with this little like. I think plus. there's got to be another tool in here, man. I imagine that there'll be a like a cross tool. Maybe this I this piece you. here yeah. swings out somehow. It seems like every like side of this thing has moving pieces that like will come out. Oh, dude. Okay, oh. so if I put it in the arrow in the front. I can push it back, but oh, let's not, in? yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> Why not? I don't know how to get it back. <laughs> <laughs> so is that it? Are cool. you gonna keep going? No, 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 I'm, I'm good there, yeah. I don't wanna do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Tony only wants to get into so much trouble. But uh, yeah, so, snow block, I imagine. Oh, okay, is... no, this has gotta go. How do we do this, man? <laughs> you, you were the one all excited and pulling the stuff apart. <laughs> so. I was excited. <laughs> Now, not so much. Uh, there you go. There you That's go. back in. All right. Push That's that in. And it pops out. There it there is. There you go. Okay. Put the tool in the other way. There you go. Done. Oh. Back to the start. Okay. So, snow block. Snow block. I don't know. What do, you, do you think this would be in level 10? I don't know. Maybe. 26 moves. I don't know. Moves? It could be. You're getting this one for the fun, not the difficulty. Like this would be super fun, actually. Take all apart. It really and, would be super yeah. Fun. I, uh, I also hope there's like a compartment in here where you can hide something. I mean, beyond that little like there. Like, yeah, really yeah. Sweet you Just have like a here. square in the middle. Yeah. yeah. I think it'd be sweet if like the S and the B here. Like, it does look like maybe they do come out, but if they came out, cool. Can't move. Okay. Yeah, so nice. Block. I imagine it's level 10 left beyond our pay grade here at Puzzle Master though, so we don't decide those things. Um, but this will be, we won't have a lot of these. I was just told we can't give numbers, you know, how many we have, but so we might have more when this video comes out. But there's not a lot of these. It's going to be a relatively expensive puzzle. So if you guys are interested in this, get on your horse and go on Puzzle Master's site and buy your copy of Snowblock from Philip Black. Yeah, yeah. Sequential Discovery, so those have been uh, popular as Chris does more and more of them. So, yeah. <laughs> Snow Block. Um, so next is Aaron's Anomalies. Aaron's Anomalies. We what's, are, uh, what's, what's going on with Aaron? Triangle Trick Box today. Triangle Trick Box, triangle is that the Jean-Claude one? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I like okay. it. It's one of my favorite puzzle boxes. Recently, well, okay, I would have said before it was my favorite Jean-Claude puzzle box, but recently that piano box came out. Oh yeah, the piano so box, good. so cool. So good, okay. My second favorite Jean-Claude puzzle, uh, triangle trick box with uh, Aaron's Anomalies. Check it out. Welcome to Aaron's Anomalies. Aaron, what do you got for us today? Got a triangle trick box. Triangle trick box. Ooh. Okay, so who's this from? Uh, this is from Jean-Claude Constantine. Okay, and what do you gotta do? Uh, you have to open the triangle trick box. And it's a level? A level six. Level six. Okay, what do we do? Walk me through it. Okay, so this is a uh, actually a pretty decent uh, sequential discovery. So first off, we notice our ball bearing in there. So we oh, actually, yeah, yeah. it's right now stuck in place. So it's held by a magnet. So we just give it a hard tap and it pops out. Okay. So we have in the back, we can see kind of a shimmery piece that keeps sliding back and forth. Yeah, there's like a lens that kind of comes over the, the slot there. It's hard to see. So internally, there's two shards of plexiglass that are kind of moving back and forth. Now, ultimately, we want this pin to drop down between the two. So this is pin. Let me just see if I can get that. There's a pin that sticks up there and moves up and down. Yep. Okay. But it's locking the lid right now. Right. So what we want to do is get the plexiglass to the side and we use our new uh, our ball bearing here. So you, you want the plexiglass over the over the magnet, yep. Okay. And then you hold it down okay. and you give it a good to the other side. So that moves the other piece of plexiglass over and I notice the pin drops down then. Yep. And it's free and you can just take the lid off real easy with no effort. <laughs> <laughs> None whatsoever. You having some trouble there? There, there we go. go. <laughs> okay. Now can it, can the pin actually come out? No. Nope. So you can see that pin moving around there. 
right there. So, okay, so you got some little space in there. It's almost like a wedge of cheese, hey? Yeah, yeah, for sure. But, uh, you could hide stuff in there. It's a very strange uh, puzzle box. I don't see too many that are just triangles. Yeah, yeah, it's an interesting design. And then to put it back, you just kind of slide that back in. Yep. Pull the ball, shake it around. Yep. Dump the magnet back in. Yep. Cool. That's neat. I mean, if you were really uh, rough with this, you could almost lose the ball just kind of transporting this when you hit it and it like oh, falls sure. over. Yeah, yeah, totally. Huh. That's cool though. I like that design. That's, that's really good. That's a, that's a fun puzzle box. It's not super hard either. Nope. Cool. Triangle trick box. Jean-Claude Constantine, level six? Yep. Level awesome. six. Okay, how is Aaron's Anomalies Triangle Trick Box? Uh, let's jump into the online buzz. Oh, have you seen anything any online? You've been watching puzzle videos in your spare time? Uh, no. Uh, I've learned recently you can tell a lot about a person by what's on their YouTube feed. Uh, my YouTube feed is full of kayaks, biking, and camping stuff. Tony's an outdoors guy. So, uh, yeah, I've been watching a bit. Watch Puzzle Guy. We did. Puzzle Guy solved Ladybird. Do you remember that one? Remember that Ladybug? Lady oh, yeah, one? yeah, yeah. From, Re it from? Robert Rett? Robert Rett? Yeah, Robert? yeah. Yeah. So it's that Ladybug one, and the it has two mazes that kind of move inside. Yeah. Puzzle Guy That's did it. That's a pretty it. hard puzzle, right? It was. Yeah, I watched him do it. So do you want me to tell you? Okay, yeah, I'm not so, going to do it. <laughs> so it had two two mazes in there, and you could follow. They had two pins on the, like, attached to the uh, antennas, antennas yeah. right? So you move them up and down. You can move one way, you get stuck, and it stop. You move the other way, you get stuck, and stop. But you had to move it to the place where it's... Remember the puzzle started in the middle? Yeah. Which is funny. What you have to do is you move it to where it says start all the way, and then you move... You have to do a certain move that, like, allows the pieces... You move the two discs opposite ways, and then you move the pieces and they, they start going through the maze a different way. Hmm. And so technically you bring it back to the start and you start and go all the way and then it comes apart. So it was neat. Oh, that's why the start you in the middle then. Yeah, that's why you start okay. in the middle and then cool. you have to move it to the start and then change things. So it, it was good. I really like that. Um, hopefully we didn't ruin that puzzle for you, but check out Puzzle Guy's video on it. I like it. He's always putting good stuff out. Mm -hmm. Um, another one actually puzzling time. So we've talked about puzzling time before guys on YouTube. Um, I think he's, ah, I'm not sure the, the discord guy, but I'm not sure, but, uh, he does or shows up puzzles. I've never seen before. It's 3d printed ones. Um, they're called cop out puzzles. There's cop out one, two, and three. And there's like, like printed cubes or squares almost. And they got like a, a penny or something in them mm -hmm. and then you gotta get it looked neat he didn't he didn't do the puzzles but uh it's puzzling time cop out puzzles puzzles i've never seen before so hopefully we can get them here at puzzle master we're always looking for new stuff and so well, i think this is like an etsy guy or something that makes yeah well, the 3d printing stuff just takes things to a whole nother level oh, and it does. just gives accessibility to people who have ideas and like those ideas come out amazing sometimes yeah. so these look neat um but yeah check them out and then also Mr. Puzzle. So we haven't talked about Mr. Puzzle for a while here, Mr. I think. Mr. Puzzle. But he did one called The Planet. And it was this uh, wooden square that had a a ball. And it looked like this molten lava planet thing. And the ball spun kind of in there. And you'd flip it over one way and it was like just straight wood with that ball through it. And then the other side you flip over and there was like a this picture of Earth with that ball above it. Okay. Um, it, apparently crazy hard. I watched it and he's pulling pins out of stuff and he actually doesn't solve it. Oh, he, can't figure it out. I, right? I don't know if he's doing another video or if he just like left it there. Yeah. But, but he does, doesn't solve the puzzle. And I think he worked on it for quite a while. So, uh, but the cool thing in this video was he does this not so intro. So he's kind of, you know, Chris does kind of like these like expanded yeah, yeah. intros of like him dressing up and doing crazy stuff. Uh, Mr. Puzzle shot a long intro. Like it was like a couple, two or three minutes long, even I think. And it's him like going into this like crazy underground tunnel thing. And he, fi he finds the puzzle in this room lit up red. And it's actually really neat. So if you, even if you don't like the puzzle, check out the video, man. It's his, his cinematography on there is pretty cool. Cool. And uh, again, you see his face. So Playing with some fun stuff. Yeah. yeah. So that was interesting. But hey, the, you see who he is? Like, I don't think I ever seen who he yeah. is. He's younger. He's younger than I thought. Oh yeah. Yeah. He's, he's been in. <laughs> you've seen. You've seen him in intros before. Like he's actually. I think around. Kind of right around the time you left here a while back. Yeah. He started doing. He showed his face on a hmm. video. So. Okay. Yeah. 
He's a younger dude. Nice. He's got a beard. Oh, right stuff. on. Follically gifted. Yeah. So yeah, it was really neat. Um, yeah, he's creating. I think he's creating like a character for himself because he always seemed to be dressed up in black and like sneaking around. But cool, appreciate then, that. So yeah, that's Mr. Puzzle, the planet. He is great, man. Just check his stuff out. And he again, he you know how he does it. He like draws you this like diagram of what he thinks is inside. Yeah, kind of does that on this one too. So yeah, it, it actually it helps a lot, man. Like he does. did the Titan one, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, so I still don't really that. understand the mechanism behind that, but he did the best explanation yeah. out of everybody. Absolutely. If you want a, yeah, if you want a good explanation of a puzzle, he's the guy to go to. I always call him the puzzle technician. So mm -hmm. he's the guy. Uh, also, last one in the online buzz here, Master of Tutorials um, on YouTube did a live video. And I was actually watching me and Tony were kind of just gra gracing through it there. <laughs> and it's just making guys shows how to make Lego combinations safe and a bunch of other stuff. So he makes like, shows you how to make a Lego puzzle. And then it's pretty cool. Different ones. It's actually really neat. Yeah. So if you have like a huge Lego collection or wanted to do some of these, yeah, Master of Tutorials shows you on uh, YouTube how to make your own Lego puzzle. So, yeah. cool. But that is, that is the online buzz for today. Buzzing. We got nothing else? And you got anything else? Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, click the bell, notifications, subscribe. TikTok. Oh, we're on TikTok? Website. Yeah, we're on TikTok. Okay. Right Website, click the notification, no, not notification, subscribe to our newsletter. Get that. That's, there's lots of cool the stuff. The newsletter's there. a tight move. It yes, is. it's good. Yeah, especially yeah. for like these snow blocks and stuff. Like that's going to be the first place that everybody hears about it. And once yeah. that email goes out, you don't got much time till after they're all gone. And you'll get a lot of notifications for restocks. Like, I mean, on our site, you can also go in there and like click it where you'll get an email as soon as stuff's restocked. But in the puzzle, um, like our Puzzle Master newsletter, you can see restocks in there. We've had a lot of stuff restocked here this summer. Mm -hmm. I feel like uh, COVID allowed guys to maybe make puzzles that they had been holding on to. Yeah. We got like restocks of Lotus in um, and a few other ones yeah. too. I think, uh, what was the one, Titan? I think we Titan, got a restock yeah. of Titan in too. So there's a bunch of like puzzles that have been restocked here recently at Puzzle Master. So if you want to kind of get updated on that, check out the newsletter. Cool. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. We appreciate you watching our videos, especially right here at the end. We love it when you guys watch the whole thing. But um, yeah, thanks guys for watching. Check us out next time. Thanks for, I'm glad Tony's back. It's oh, we back. We have, yeah. So yeah. hopefully you guys enjoyed today and there'll be more stuff coming out soon. Thanks. Cool. See ya.